Hi, I'm Pastor Berger. It makes sense that if there is a God, he's some mysterious, unknowable, supreme being. It also makes sense then that religions are basically guesses about, possibly lies about, who God is dressed up as theological truth. And it also makes sense then that there's really no point in believing there's a God. I mean, why bother believing in a God you can't know? Why bother believing in a God made up by someone else or a God you create in your own imagination? A God no more real than your invisible pretend friend from childhood. Why bother believing in a God who, if he is real, often feels so distant and unreal in the darkest times of my life? All of that makes perfect sense, which is why we are so happy to get the third surprise of Christmas. That God is not unknowable and distant. He has made himself known in the clearest possible way by writing himself into the script of history in the person of Jesus Christ. And this is what I love about that. When I see that baby in the manger, I see how far God is willing to go for me and my salvation. When I see Jesus going to the home of a scumbag tax collector named Zacchaeus to have dinner with this man everyone else despises as a traitor and a thief, I see God. A God who can love and accept a scumbag sinner like me. When I see Jesus place his hand on a man diseased with leprosy, a man who hadn't felt human touch for, what, months? Years? Because those afflicted with the contagious disease of leprosy were forced to live away from family and friends in isolation. I see God, a God who has compassion for me when I am lonely and rejected. When I see Jesus pitching face first into the dirt and sweating blood on the night before his death, so great is the weight of the world's sin he is bearing. When I hear him pray, Father, forgive them, right before the first hammer blow drives a nail into his flesh, when I see him pale and still, head slumped on his chest on the cross, I see God, the God who loves me, yes, even me, so much. He dies for me so I can live forever with him. So rejoice in Christmas surprise number three as well. God is not unknowable and distant. He has made himself known and come so near as to be your brother in human flesh. And also that you could see the very essence of God. That God is love. I encourage you to give a listen to the Christmas hymn, Hark the Herald Angels Sing, and to take to heart its happy message, Veiled in Flesh the Godhead see.